Hello, my name is Johan Falk and I'm a math and physics teacher in Stockholm, Sweden. And you must be profoundly interested in spreadsheet actions because you have probably watched quite a few videos about this tool for Google Drive. So, in this video I'm going to show you how to copy and share a uh, file with students. Uh, say that you have, for example, a, a Google document, could be any file in Google Drive. Let's say that you have a Google document that you want to share with your students. And in this case, I've already set up folders for my students. Every stu student has their own folder which they can view. And now I want to make a copy of this document and place it in their folders. To do this, I need the ID of the document, which, uh, as usual, is found in the URL. And in the URL, we have a lot of things separated by slashes. And here... We have between these two slashes something that looks really particular, peculiar and that means it's the file ID most likely. So I'm going to copy this, copy, and then I'm going to use this in some settings because I need to change settings to do this. And to change settings we need to visit tools and script editor. In our case we're going to have to look at the file management plugin because file management uh, is taking care of copying and sharing files. File management, click, and we have something here called source file. That sounds kind of interesting. Something that should be copied or moved or something. Uh, instead of using a, an, uh, a column number, setting this to false, and then we will instead use the fallback. If we had a particular file for each student, we could have the ID of the file specified in the column and work with that. But now I'm going to use the same file for every student. And the file ID is this. Now I copied it and I'm saving. And uh, that should be it actually. If I now go here, spreadsheet actions, bulk action, copy files, it is now processing somewhere over here. It should be writing out the uh, yeah ID and name. Oh, okay, crap! I didn't change the oops, didn't change the file name pattern. Let's have a look at what's happening over here. The file, the copy is now named uh, folder for John Doe, folder for Alice, folder for Bob. This is left for from uh, this pattern. Name pattern is left for when I created folders. I should have changed it down here, darn. Okay, but now at least I have one copy for each student. That's kind of nice. Now I want to move these folders, these files into this folder. Let's actually change here. Call this uh, student uh, document or something. Take these and paste here. And I'm just gonna delete these. Be gone. And yes. Okay, next step. Now I have a copy for each student. Now I want to uh, move this document into this folder. And there's an action for that. It's called move file to, uh, files to folder. But before doing that, I am going to change some options again. The source file is now found in column 6. So I'm going to say source file is column 6 and target folder down here is found in column 4. It seems. Here's the folder I want to move to. Four. Save. And book actions move files to folder. Bam, 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 bam. Let's see how this works. First one is moved for John Doe. Let's have a look at John Doe's folder. Here it is. It's still called folder for John Doe, which is kind of uh, not the way I want it. Let's actually rename files as well, because this might be a fun exercise. OK, all the files are moved. Let's rename. So let's have a new file name pattern. A uh, special file for uh, John Doe, for example. And the file 
source file ID is still number six here, I guess. Yeah, so let's run bulk actions, rename files. Wham, 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 wham. Come on. Come on. This says running script and sometimes, the, yeah, processing. Here, folder for John Doe, and now it's called special file for John Doe. It has renamed all the four files right now. Nice! That's kind of a uh, quick and easy way to do this. Uh, manage a lot of files and folders for students in your class. Uh, and the idea, the big idea with spreadsheet actions is that you can write new plugins and have uh, spreadsheet actions do repetitive tasks for you. Kind of useful. Um, I wonder if there is something else I want to show you. Yeah, let's show you this because in spreadsheet actions, no, let's, yeah, in spreadsheet actions, we now have quite a few uh, bulk actions and also, well, two actions. We can change these and hide some of them. If I, for example, do not use uh, create folders anymore, grant access to files and these and these and these. I could just disable those and now the bulk actions menu will be much smaller. That's kind of useful. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next video I'm going to show you how to use student workbooks and manipulate content in student workbooks. See you there. Bye.